At the end of the line, at the end of the line was my dad, and of course my dad wasn't wearing a rouge swimming costume, of course he wasn't. My dad, like many dads of the day, and this would have been in the early 50s, was wearing a swimming costume which his wife, my mother, <laughs> had actually knitted for him. She'd got the pattern out of the Woman's Weekly. <laughs> and I can see it now. It was all knitted in garter stitch and threaded round the waist and clearly visible was white knicker elastic. <laughs> tied at the front in a tremendous knot like this. And it was the most horrible repulsive colour. It was a sort of ginger. <laughs> mustard sort of colour but I I remember I wasn't very old but I remember even young as I was being mightily impressed that my mum had taken up her two old wooden knitting needles and a ball of wool and she had knitted him this perfectly good workman like swimming costume I thought it was a great achievement and certainly it was a very snug fit <laughs> on father and I'm quite sure as he walked along the beach he was conscious of the admiring glances. <laughs> which he received because he was a very nice looking man, my dad. He was a real nice looking man. He was tall, he had a little Clark Gable moustache, and he'd been for many years in the Grenadier Guards, you know, and so he had that military stance. He was very erect. Now, that may have been an unfortunate choice of words in that, in that context. We'll, we'll choose another one quick. He was very statuesque then, shall we say. And certainly, this swimming costume did enhance... <laughs> ..his contours... <laughs> ..as long as it was dry. <laughs> However, once it got wet, <laughs> the whole situation changed because you know yourself that wool has got a tremendous capacity to absorb water. And once it got wet, the whole edifice used to drop. <laughs> it dropped like a stone. And so there was this extraordinary contrast between my dad when he walked into the sea. <laughs> yeah. Because he looked good, he knew he looked good. But when he came out, he looked like the monster from the Black Lagoon coming out like this. And he had this great bulging gusset down here, all stuck out the back like this. And with all the water spraying out of it. And it looked perfectly obscene. <laughs> this enormous bulging gusset here, all stuck out the back like a big ginger nappy. And of course, it was tremendously heavy. And so my father would have to reach down and give it a bit of support. <laughs> like this. You would see other people's dads moving around normally on the beach. <laughs> and then you'd see our dad trying his best to look inconspicuous, <laughs> making his way over to um, a pillbox, you know, like a little gun emplacement thing at the back of the beach. You'd see him making his way over there like this, <laughs> like, like this. And then you could make him out in the shadows, actually ringing the gusset out like this. So if, as summer approaches, 
you're thinking of knitting your husband a swimming costume. <laughs> Take my tip, don't bother.